The solution to a system of linear equations is the ordered pair x, y that is a solution to both of those equations. Let's look at an example. Let's say we had um, 3x minus 2y equals 2 and x plus 2y equals 6. Now that's a system of linear equations. It's linear. We have an x and a y. If you were to graph each one of these, then you would get a line for each one of those. So each one of those is a line. And the solution to this is the single point x, y that satisfies both of those two equations. So let's look and see if the point 0, negative 1 is a solution to this system of linear equations. If it's a solution, then if this is x and this is y, then this point x, y has to be a correct solution for both of these two equations. <coughs> so to check, we'll plug in 0 for x and negative 1 for y into both equations. So first we'll check the first equation. So the first equation, 3x minus 2y equals 2. I'll plug in 0 for x and negative 1 for y. And then I get, I simplify 0 minus 2 times negative 1 is plus 2 equals 2. So that checks. Okay, so 0, negative 1 is a solution for the first equation. Let's see if it's a solution for the second equation. x plus 2y equals 6. Plug in 0 for x negative 1 for y, and I have negative 2 equals 6. Well, it does not, so that means that 0, negative 1 is not a solution to this system of equations. What it also tells us is that the point 0, negative 1 is on this first line, if we were to graph it, but it's not on the second line. If we graph the second line, 0, negative 1 is not on it. Let's check to see if the point 2, 2 is a solution to this set of linear equations. So I'll check the first line, 3x minus 2y equals 2. I'll put in 2 for x, 3 times 2, and 2 for y, 2 times 2 equals 2, because this is our x value, this is our y value. I get 6 minus 4 equals 2, or 2 equals 2, so yes, that one's good. That means the point 2, 2 satisfies this first equation. It is a point on that line. Now let's check the second equation right here. So I have x plus 2y equals 6. I'll put, put in 2 for x and 2 for y. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 6 equals 6. Yes, that checks out. That means that the point 2, 2 is a solution to both of these equations. That means it's a point on this line and it's a point on this line. If it's a point on this line and a point on this line, then it must be the point where these two lines intersect. So another way that you can look at the system, at the solution to um, a system of linear equations is to graph them and to find the point of intersection. So let's take a look at that. Let's say that I have the two linear equations, 2x minus 3y equals 1, and x plus, plus y equals 3. And I want to see, if, I want to find the solution to this system of linear equations. Well, I can do this graphically. I can graph them. <coughs> so I want to graph both of these lines on the same set of coordinate axes. So I'll start with my first line, 2x minus 3y equals 1. I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to put this in slope-intercept form. Subtract 2x from both sides. Negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 1. Divide everything by negative 3. And I get y equals 2 thirds x minus 1 third. All right. So now I'm going to take my second line, which is x plus y equals 3.
and solve it for y. Well, that one's easy. Subtract x from both sides, and I get y equals minus x plus 3. Well, now I want to graph this line, which comes from this equation, and this line, which comes from this equation, on the same set of axes. So I'll draw my coordinate axes over here, and I'm going to try to do it relatively neatly because when we solve a system graphically, we're going to find the point of intersection, and we're going to estimate that by looking at our graph. Okay, well I'm going to start with this line because it looks a little easier. I have the y-intercept of 3 and a slope of negative 1, so that means go down 1 and over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. So, whoa, looks like my uh, paper slipped. Okay, well, uh, Let's, hmm, let me draw a new graph here. Okay, so, okay, so y-intercept of 3, slope of negative 1, down 1, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. Here's our line. Still kind of went off a little bit. Okay, now we'll do this one right here. So we have a y-intercept of negative one-third, a slope of two-thirds, so up two and over three. So we have that line right there. And it looks like they intersect right here at this point, which if my paper had matched up, you would see was the point 2, 1. And so that's our guess as to what the solution to this system is. We can check by plugging into both of these and see if it works. If x is 2 and y is 1, then this becomes 4 minus 3, which is 1, so that one works. This becomes 2 plus 1, which is 3, so that one works. So yes, this is a solution. So that was solving a system of equations graphically. Okay, now there are also uh, equations that might have uh, many solutions or no solutions. So let's take a look at um, this set of linear equations. So I have 3x minus 2y equals 6, 6x minus 4y equals 12. If I solve, if I try to um, solve this first one for y, negative 2y equals 6 minus 3x. y equals negative 3 plus 3 halves x. Now, if I solve the second one, 6x minus 4y equals 12. Subtract 6x from both sides. Negative 4y equals negative 6x plus 12. Divide everything by negative 4. y equals 3 halves x minus 3. If you look, these two are exactly the same. And so, um, these two lines are the same line. So this has an infinitely many, has infinitely many solutions. On the other hand, if you have parallel lines, then parallel lines never intersect. So um, if they never intersect, then they can't have a solution. So if I look at 3x minus 2y equals 6 and 3x minus 2y equals 2, 
If I solve each of these for y, this first one, 3x minus 2y equals 6, minus 2y minus 3x plus equals minus 3x plus 6, y equals 3 halves x minus 3. If I solve the second one, I get 3x minus 2y equals 2, negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 2, um, or dividing everything by negative 2, y equals 3 halves x minus 1. Oh, well, we can see from these equations that these two lines are parallel. They have the same slope. They just have different y-intercepts. So if you graph them, the first one has a y-intercept of negative 3, a slope of 3 halves. Looks like that. And the second one is the same. It just goes through. It has the same slope, but it has a different y-intercept. So it's going to go through this point right there. And if I could draw, you'd see those two lines were supposedly parallel and would never intersect. So this has no solutions.